one of my pieces of advice to parents is that the student understand um, the documentation that they have, that the student, him or herself, actually has reviewed the documentation and is able to contribute to the IEP or whatever it is. Um, and they should be able to, because in college they have to be more of a self-advocate, the student, him or herself, should be able to explain <laughs> How, how autism spectrum disorder affects them, for example. How, how, do the, how does ASD affect them particularly, uh, them uniquely? And what kinds of things, um, well, let's say that they have particular sensory sensitivity. Well, what's gonna happen to fire alarm? I mean, okay, uh, how are they gonna react? Are they going to be upset by that or not upset by that? How do they feel about um, writing a, a, a a letter or an email to the uh, instructor. How did they feel about that? And so the parents can have that discussion with the um, with the student. Also, the parents should subtly, not, not subtly even, <laughs> I think they should encourage self-advocacy in any way they can. Um, for example, a lot of students take the bus out here, so practicing going on the bus prior to going to school would be a really good idea. Um, and anything they can do, even the short courses. There's some little short courses in the summer that are like one or two days, the, like keyboarding or something like that. So, or Mac classes, anything that, that's computer-based. And it gives them a sample of being in a classroom.